Howdy folks, my name is Lanso19 and welcome back to my tutorial series for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead version point F. Alright, so I think we've basically handled a lot of our basics. So I think now we have the spare time to spend working on some of our stuff here. For starters, let's go wash this leather stuff. Gonna have to grab our our detergent and our washing kit again. Might want to put those on a separate pile, to be honest with you. Just so we can grab the stuff quickly when we need it. And activate the washing kit. Wash the stuff. Good to go. Alright. And I am going to drop the detergent and washing kit by the door. Because we don't really need it over here anyway. Drop of that in the pile of stuff to cut up. Or get to butchering again. We have to decide what we want to keep though. It's a leather touring suit, torso, arms, and legs, thick leather bodysuit made for protection while riding motorcycles. Light and very comfortable. So we could just wear this. We'll have to repair it. It's actually completely broken though, so I don't think it's worth it. I think we'd rather just butcher it. Oops, I'm not standing in the right spot. I think we would rather just butcher it for the leather just because it's so beat up. It would take too much work. I'm going to grab that no mix leather and toss it into our parts pile. Uh, we know we don't need the boots because our steel toe boots are the best boots in the game. <laughs> Ooh, 29 Kevlar sheets, 15 rags. No leather, unfortunately, but the Kevlar is definitely worth its weight in gold. Uh, the thigh highs we looked at were not useful to us. Seven more leather patches. Don't mind if I do. And the leather duster. Leather duster is something to think about for sure. Let's compare it. Let's do shift I. And compare the leather duster to... We're not really wearing anything on that layer, so let's do the long sleeve shirt. As you can see, even though the crap's been beaten out of it, or actually, <laughs> it's actually not that durable, but it's probably just because it's damaged so badly. Maybe we don't want to wear it. Fits us perfectly, though. It's designed to keep us dry. The shirt isn't it's worn over things, so it's not going to get in the way. Has pretty big pockets, keeps our hands warm, so we can think about getting rid of that uh, scarf. Although we're not using the hands on the scarf anymore because we're building our cudgel. I think it's worth it. Eventually we'll get like leather armor. And I think that goes on the outer layer. So we won't want this. But for now, it's also the outer layer. It's not going to mess with our pants, right? It shouldn't. Yeah. Let's attempt to repair the duster. We're going to need to grab the sewing kit. Might as well grab the wooden needle because we don't need the wooden needle anymore. I'm going to unload it. Honestly, I'm going to toss it in the furnace just to burn it into ash later. Let's reload the sewing kit. Thread in our jeans. I'm going to put the rest of the thread in our parts pile. Now let's activate our sewing kit. The leather duster. I am not good enough to repair. <laughs> that happens. Let's test some of our other stuff. A uh, decent chance to reinforce the pants. Let's try. We did it. Dust mask. Easy. Go ahead and do it. Military rucksack. Too complicated. All right. So with that in mind, we might want to just uh, cut up the duster. Thirteen leather patches for us. Medical gloves. I'd like to try. Eh, it's made of leather. I mean, it's made of plastic. I bet I can't. Yeah, it needs a soldering iron, which doesn't really make much sense. But, but you can still just wear it, right? Because at least the layer was close to the skin. We're also not even wearing any gloves at all right now, so might as well. Do have extra corso encumbrance for some reason. Binoculars. 
I don't remember wearing the binoculars. Should just be carrying them. That was my bad. Rather just carry them. We do need to keep those on our person, though. Oh, is that what I wore? In I guess I wore those instead of the medical gloves. That would make some. That would make sense. Oh, I guess I had a wristwatch. I guess I don't need my cell phone then if I have a wristwatch on, huh? Drop our cell phone. It's the only one we got for now, so I'm just gonna put it in the tools pile. All right, let's butcher the flashlight. You can see we're gonna get some, it's actually gonna disassemble it because there's no way to butcher the flashlight. And we're gonna get some parts. Uh, I wonder if we can disassemble it here at that one key. I don't remember which key it was though. There it is, shift to nine. Which they might be hard to find it. And for the floor, there it is. The toaster. Weird. I don't know why those are like that, because these the cover to be used as uh Can I work on the craft? They should be used as tables. Do I need like a dedicated like table instead of a cover? Be kind of dumb, but it wouldn't surprise me. Cataclysm can be weird sometimes. Let's go get a table <laughs> just to see. Yeah, cataclysm can be weird. There is like a workbench, which is like really good for this sort of thing. It, like actually makes it so you craft better. Yeah, here's a hack. Here's a hardcore table. I wonder if these chairs are chair. Or if like a real chair would do something for us too. I don't really know. Never think I'd get this far. Uh, I've just never tested it. I don't think so, because I think the bench is just considered a chair, but also I would have assumed the cupboard would be considered a work table. But apparently it's not, because it's just make, it's trying to make us drop our cudgel in order to work on things, and it's like, uh, that shouldn't be necessary. I cannot grab the cupboard. Well, then you're useless to me. Bonk. Nails there. Ugh. Drag the planks into there. And burn the planks as firewood. That's why I've moved them there. All right. I don't know why it won't let us work on our craft. That's very odd. That's not normally how this works. I need these in my inventory first, maybe? Okay, that time it let me do it. I think it's working now. It's just being weird. I don't know why that's not working. We should be able to, like, place the item on the table and then say work, uh, work on the craft. And it should work on the craft that's on the table, but, uh, it wasn't working, so I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, let's read these books. I also just dropped all the parts in our parts pile. I don't, they aren't critical. So all we're going to do is just go through each book once. Uh, you can see you skim the Galamatopolitan book to see what's, what's in it. It can increase our food handling skill to one. As far as intelligence of five to easily read, reading this book affects your morale by one. It's actually an entertaining book. It's actually a positive. Some of them are boring, and it actually gives you a negative. Uh, to read a chapter of the book takes 24 minutes for us at our current intelligence level. And the book has two crafting recipes we can learn from it, fairy bread and foie gras. Basically, we're just going to do this for every book. This just means we're thumbing through the book to see what the book does. 
So you can see I've done that to all of them. You can see there's two books here that say they don't do anything. They're grayed out. They're actually all in our inventory because once you thumb through them, they go to your inventory. There's no, no value in these books anymore. Uh... It does take just two two seconds to disassemble them though, so I'm gonna go ahead and butcher the books. It's weird. Because the table is right there. They must have busted this. Doesn't feel right to me. Let's try to do it out of this disassemble menu, the shift nine on the time magazine. broke here this isn't how things used to be done <laughs> that's why it's a, a bit of a problem for me doesn't make any sense man <laughs> i don't know why it's not doing that because it used to be you just crafted anywhere. You didn't have to put their thing, your thing away. They didn't get bonuses for crafting on a special surface. Nothing like that. You could just craft whatever you wanted to, however you wanted to. And then they've added this new feature where you have to put your tool down to craft. And But then they made it so they craft on, you can craft on a table and it's better. And you won't have to put your tool down. Well, now it's, now it's telling me to put my tool down every time. Even though I have a table, I have cupboards, I have all sorts of stuff we could craft on. I don't know why that's happening, but it's very annoying because I don't want to put my cudgel away every freaking time I need to do something. Anyway, that's the state of cataclysm today. It's actually quite the debate. Well, let's see what other options we have available to us. Safety glasses are actually pretty good. goes on the outer layer of the eyes and they have a really good protection quality i think it also makes it so that when we fight like boomers and spitters and stuff that spit stuff at us or explode on us i think it protects our eyes from the explosion it will take three hours to do though i also don't know if we have an empty plastic bob i feel like all of our bottles probably have stuff in them i have an empty glass jar yeah, I don't have an empty plastic bottle yet. This one's almost empty if I drink it from it again. So let's not get ahead of ourselves on that. Uh, boonie hats are pretty good. Boonie hats uh, keep the sun out of your eyes. Okay, environmental protection too. Here's where it's the clothing keeps glare out of your eyes. In the summertime, it actually gets so bright that uh, your character starts getting penalties in combat for not being able to see straight. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, two hours. That's not so bad. Go ahead and do it. See, now he's using the table. See how it's building on the table? So it must be just disassembly is kind of busted. But yeah, now we're just going to wear that boonie hat. Uh, do we level up? We did level up our tailoring skills at level four now. So not only will that unlock more crafting options, but it should be easier to repair some gear now. I don't know. We can activate our sewing kit. Uh, I guess I got rid of the... Uh, We can look at the muck rucksack. You can see, I think it was at like 4.4 before. Now it's at 3.4. It's not huge, but slowly these stuff will enter the territory of being able to reinforce them. There we go. We reinforce our boonie hat. Our cotton hat is in the way. We can probably drop our cotton hat now. It was just to keep us from dying in like 10 seconds at the start of the game from cold. So we're starting to get armored up a little bit more. And yeah, you can see there's a lot more stuff here. I like to go through the subsections, though, because this, this category is really full. <laughs> so I like to go through the subsections of options. You can see we can start making leather armor now. That's why we want to grab all the leather we can. We can actually start making leather armor pretty early in. So I want to get as much leather as we possibly can. The helmet isn't particularly good, though, because we can find, like, a... 
you can find like a hard hat or a military helmet and they'll be immediately better and they're not actually that hard to find but like leather arm guards can be pretty good van braces studded gloves would be cool we need to find an all actually you could probably make one yeah there's a bunch of stuff that we can't build because of alls but i bet we can build one so that should be our next step i think let's go to other Let's do find all. I can craft one with a bone or a human bone or a screwdriver. Don't we have just like a, a regular screwdriver? I feel like we saw one. I don't want to like take it out of my toolbox. I want to keep that toolbox intact. Oh, we're actually hungry. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and eat our yogurt because I know this you can see now that we have all this food options, this, this menu for heating is a lot more full. Shelf life is what I like to look at first. I like to just try to eat anything that's going to go bad quickly. Obviously, this yogurt's going to go bad very soon. It also tells you how long it takes to eat, all that good stuff. CAD is, I guess, how full it makes you feel to eat it. Volumes, how much space it takes up in your stomach. Again, it's a lot more, a lot more complicated than it used to be. But, you know, just, just eat when you're hungry and you should be decently okay. But, yeah, I'm going to drink the... Or eat the yogurt. I'm also going to drink the milk just to try to get through it. You don't want to overeat, though. Like, right now it says we're slaked. If we try to drink again, we might throw up. It'll actually give you a different message. It'll say you couldn't possibly eat another bite. Are you sure you want to eat? And then, yeah, you'll pretty much immediately puke if you try to do that. Anyway, we're going to go back to town. So we're carrying a light strip for no reason. It's just one of the parts we got out of, like, the flashlight, probably. Uh, sewing kit. Very useful to have on us, but... Inventory space is at a premium still. Let's go try to find the screwdriver. I'm pretty sure we saw one out here somewhere. Probably just didn't grab it because I didn't have the space. Do, 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 do. Probably be over here if it had been in one. Strong scissors hand. Maybe not. Surprising. Uh, hmm. I swear we saw one. Let's check inside this car. You can see there's a plus sign in this tile here. That means there's something there. Just mineral water under the seat or something. <sighs> Do we want to talk about cars right now, now that we're near one? It might as well, because you might be encountering a car sooner rather than later. So we're just going to press E, go to the car direction. If you do remember vehicle position, I'll add it to your mini map. You might want to do that on electric cars because they're really valuable. But for now, we're just going to examine vehicle. And we get a huge, huge menu. <laughs> I'm not going to go through all of it now because we'll do like a dedicated vehicle menu or vehicle video some at some point. But you can see what you want to look for is make sure it has battery and gas. That means it'll run. Uh, most damaged you want to take a look at because if it's controls like this then there's no way to drive it because that means like the steering wheel is gone or something right you can't control it so it won't work and then you want to take a look at like the engine which is going to be somewhere up in the front probably uh, you just use the arrow keys up here to move around and you can see what's in each tile of the car the engine is completely destroyed and faulty, though, so this wouldn't run even if it did have controls. And then you want to check the wheels. This one has racing slicks, apparently, instead of wheels. You can also check down here. It says wheels enough. That means it actually will drive, even though, like, one of the wheels is missing. And if we were to drive it, we'd just get into the driver's side. It is America system. So we would uh, press our shift six button here, take control of it, but there's no controls there because they're busted. So that's the thing with that. 
Let's see if maybe the screwdriver was in here. You can do it this way. Let's use a filter for screw. Nope. Unless it's in the back here. Box, box. Oh, we do want the duct tape and batteries, absolutely. Duct tape is invaluable. I would like an all. So you might be like, well, why can't you just get a bone? It shouldn't be, shouldn't you be able to get a bone out of these zombie bodies? Well, why don't we find out? Let's get away from that other zombie though, because butchering takes a long time. Uh, let's butcher one of these bad boys. Butcher, I'm just gonna select the regular zombie. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we can't do because it used to be butcher was just butcher, but now there's like advanced options of how to butcher. Uh, we can quarter the corpse, we can dismember it, we can dissect it, which is like carefully cutting it apart and it uses our fine tools. That's what we want to do if we want to get a CBM out of it. Uh, quick butchery, you lose lots of stuff, but it's really quick. Full butchery uh, requires a rope and a tree or a flat surface, like a table. It doesn't count like the ground is flat, unfortunately. Um, and good tools and gets you a lot more stuff field dress skin you can see it's not saying that it's more for animals bleed is new so i don't know what this does i guess it just gets lots of blood out of it which uh, there is like recipes for mutagens later in the game that use creature blood to work let's just do a quick butchery just to make my point here you harvest chunks of tainted meat. You harvest tainted fat. You don't harvest tainted bones. Apply a few quick cuts to the pulp corpse of a zombie and leave what's left of it to the skip. Um, we can eat the stuff, but uh, negative 10 enjoyability. Um, I think we'll even get like, uh, we'll probably get the zombie virus. I haven't actually tried because obviously it's insane to try it. <laughs> But you can see the bones are tainted. It's rotten and brittle from some unnatural creature. Because it came from some unnatural creature. You can eat it, but it'll poison you. Yeah. The bones aren't useful. So to get a real bone, we have to kill an animal. Which is going to be a little difficult without a ranged weapon. Because most of them will run away or be too big of a fight for us, probably. And uh, to find like a regular human bone that isn't rotten, we'll have to find a random spawn. Actually, this feral human might have bones, but I think it gives us a penalty to our morale if we uh, cut up a human body. But maybe if it's feral, it won't count. I don't know. Also, our character wants a fire, so why don't we make a quick fire? I'm gonna grab like this robe. Do, do, do. Oh, right. <laughs> I did the I did the thing. Uh, still, just grab the robe and. Gonna toss it on this plants. Gonna activate my matchbook. Eat. Apparently it wasn't good enough. The penalty has gone away though, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Just trying to get our mood up by lighting a fire. Let's move a little bit deeper into town and see if we can find a screwdriver in a different building, but we're all out of time for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time. I hope you have a good day.